Maureen Dowd of the New York Times traveled to Colorado to do a story on the legal pot scene. And while she was there, she tried some edibles. She picked out a chocolate bar that she ate that was infused with THC. Now, at first she ate a little bit, sat around, didn't feel it. Then she decided she was going to eat some more, which for anybody who's ever actually eaten marijuana before or, you know, had any edibles, that's a bad idea. So what followed next was both unfortunate and hilarious at the same time. Uh, she wrote, quote, But then I felt a scary shudder go through my body and brain. I barely made it from the desk to the bed, where I laid curled up in a hallucinatory state for the next eight hours. I was thirsty but couldn't move to get water or even turn off the lights. I was panting and paranoid, sure that when the room service waiter knocked and I didn't answer, he'd call the police and have me arrested for being unable to handle my candy. I strained to remember where I was or even what I was wearing, touching my green corduroy jeans and staring at the exposed brick wall. As my paranoia deepened, I became convinced that I had died and no one was telling me. God, man, <laughs> what an epic fail on her part. Because when she went back to the store the next day and talked to one of the people who worked there, they said, you do realize that this chocolate bar has 16 separate doses in there. And for you, somebody who doesn't smoke marijuana, so you're a noob, you need to have, this is like 32 separate highs that you can get. You're only supposed to have one 32nd of this chocolate bar. And it didn't say in the article how much she, she ate, but she probably ate like half of it. You have to understand, man, even people who smoke weed on a regular basis, some of the edibles that they have, like there's they sell gummy bears in some places and little hard candies like Jolly Ranchers and stuff, one of those will fuck you up. When you ingest marijuana, the effects are more powerful than just when you smoke it. So here we have a newbie, okay, eating it and eating way more than the recommended dose. Now, the sad thing about her article is that she goes on to, like, draw conclusions from this and say, oh, my God, man, we really need to regulate this marijuana industry. We, I, I'm not sure it's a good idea to legalize anymore. This is insane. I felt like I overdosed. It was one of the scariest things I ever went through when yada, 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 yada. And look, my response to that is, Okay, yes, the packages should definitely say, you should be less of an idiot and you should research, but the packages should also say how much, uh, you know, of a dose uh, is in there for people. But you can't make broad policy conclusions because you're a fuck-up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And look, I do sympathize with that feeling of being too high. As I've described on the show before, I don't smoke marijuana regularly. There's other drugs that I do and I engage in, but marijuana is not one of them because uh, probably... A little less than half of the times I I smoked it or did it, I was paranoid. Sometimes I had a great time, not gonna lie, but a lot of times I got paranoid. And the more I researched about it, the more I realized, oh, I was paranoid because I had too much. It was like two years since the last time I did it, and I'm sitting there fucking smoking a blunt to the face. And then I curled up in the fetal position in my room and thought the world was ending and was afraid that, you know my mother would chastise me and, and hate me. Meanwhile, she wouldn't even give a fuck if she heard that I smoked. But you convince yourself of all these crazy things when you're too high. So she has an experience where she's too high and she goes, oh my God, we should really fucking not legalize this stuff. But understand something. Yes, you might have been a little paranoid, but that's as bad as it gets with marijuana. It's, it's physically impossible to overdose from marijuana and die. Meanwhile, if you have 10 times the the dose that gets you drunk with alcohol, you will die. You know, it's easier to overdose from caffeine than it is to overdose on marijuana. You have to smoke something like 1,500 pounds in a 15-minute period. It's impossible to do that. So don't try to form broad policy conclusions based on your dumbass and an anecdotal experience. But I do have to say, <laughs> as much as I disagree with her on her takeaways from it, it's both a sad and hilarious story.